All right, well, we are at Chapita Lake, ready to start the Uinta Highline Trail. And uh, yeah, gorgeous little drive in here. Really a big thanks to Jim and his wife for facilitating our shuttle to the trailhead. And uh, I'm gonna put the boots on and the pack on and we'll talk to you in a bit. That's Chapita Lake here, and uh, to, there's Jim and his son, and uh, we're gonna get moving here. A little bit of weather on North Pole Pass. We're gonna reassess when we go up there. We'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, a little rainstorm came in here right before we got the switchbacks to go over North Pole Pass, so we're hunkering under this boulder and just gonna wait it out, see what the weather does, and uh, we'll move from there. So we'll check in with you when we figure that out. All right, we're still hunkered down underneath this boulder. It's still raining. There's still been some rumbles of thunder. We uh, definitely don't want to try the pass until we see it clear up a little bit because uh, when you get on top of North Pole Pass, there is nowhere to cover and you're exposed in the highest point. So um, we're just gonna tough it out for another hour and make some decisions here. Uh, we'll check back with you then. All right, after sitting down for about a little over an hour, um, it's cleared up enough. We're gonna give the pass attempt. So here we go. shoulder there. On my way up North Pole Pass. They gave me a rainbow. That's pretty awesome. We just got to the top of North Pole Pass, first day. Um, this We weren't even planning on being over in here till tomorrow. And uh, we're uh, gonna put ourselves a day ahead of schedule on the trail, which is awesome. Um, man, that was a great uh, classic Uinta's rainstorm we were in. And uh, the whole hike today, Jim's been keeping us going on the pace. I slowed down a little bit on those switchbacks coming up. I feel bad. Sorry about that, Jim and, and Michael. Uh, but uh, we all made it, we're here, so we're gonna drop over the other side and go find camp, so we'll check in a bit.
right. We're heading over to Fox Lake. We're off the top of uh, North Pole Pass. And uh, this is for Steve's packs a lot because this is a Christmas card that he sent me. Ain't that a freaking awesome view? Unbelievable. Hey, thanks for the Christmas card. Much love, man. We're going to head down. We'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, after a long day and climbing uh, North Pole Pass and getting to Fox Lake for our first night, um, it is now raining outside. So uh, I'm in the tent, I'm going to bed. It's been a long day, we'll check you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's uh, day two here at Fox Lake on the UNA Highline Trail, and uh, we've woke up to a pretty torrential rain. It actually rained all night long. Um, it kept waking me up in the middle of the night um, just from the pitter patter on the rain fly. Um, so it was pretty substantial rainfall. I was standing water in camp this morning, so I'm gonna make some coffee and uh, kind of slowly move towards getting things packed up inside the shelter. So when it's time that we actually want to go, then uh, we can go ahead and uh, just stuff the packs and hit the road. I'll tell you right now, I almost didn't bring these rain pants, and I am so glad that I made that decision to bring them. Because um, I may be wearing them all day today, so <laughs> going to make some coffee. We'll check in a bit. Okay, well, uh, everything's packed up but my shelter. I'm just leaving that up so I have a place to go. If it's dry, if we get like torrential downpour, I'm in head to toe reindeer so uh yeah it's been coming down since about uh midnight last night it really unleashed on us overnight and they're standing water in camp as you can see and jim and michael are uh hanging out in the shelter over there probably being smarter than i am right now um but i figured since i had full rain gear on at least i wouldn't get soaked um yeah it's a uh, it's a soggy one here we're just kind of waiting to see if this breaks a little bit then uh, we're gonna pack it up and head out. So uh, I will check back with you um, when that happens. Okay, and uh, you can see the trail is fully swollen, like sopped with water. Um, I know people gripe about Gore-Tex footwear and uh, they, you know, too hot, or my feet sweat too much, or whatever. When you're in these kind of environments, Gore-Tex or none, both Jim and Michael last night had soaked feet from their ultras, and um, I just had uh, wet exteriors that I just had to put the boots by the fire for like an hour, and my feet are totally dry right now. So, um, yeah, that's uh, just how soppy trails can get in the UNAs. Okay, well, uh, we're just sitting inside our tent. This is the only thing to break down and pack up and it really is quick to fold it in thirds and roll it up and stuff it in a sack and put it in the bag and walk. Um, I'm completely ready. Um, I've had breakfast, coffee, um, but it's been raining for well over 12 hours here. We've had like a couple of lulls and that's it. And then it's just been raining. So um, Jim was nice enough to burn a, a message on his uh, Garmin to ask his wife to check out the, you know, the radar and, and prediction and stuff and it possibly in about 45 minutes um be able to get on the trail and start walking um i'm ready to go now i could go in full rain gear and just do it but those guys just have ponchos so i think they're just being safe so we're going to respect what everybody wants to do and stick together as a group and uh do the thing so um i'm still having fun out here it's beautiful i just can't believe the rain i haven't been in a UN rainstorm like this not thunderstorm just rainstorm for probably four or five years so uh we're getting the water we need it so we'll check back in with you in a little bit. 
gonna show you how you get the water off the tarp real quick. Grab your checking pole and just give it a light shake. Off the water goes. This lunar sonal has been awesome in here. Uh, I can just sit in here with my pack and wait. This is quick deploy on trail too, if I need to. So I just keep this in the top of my pack. And if I became like this, just uh, throw the trekking pole in it, six stakes and uh, yeah, and we're ready to go. So uh, we're just waiting out the storm, get going. We'll check with you in a bit. Ooh, camp is all cleaned up. A little soggy, but definitely cleaned up. All right, we are all packed up. We're gonna get moving on the trail. So we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, after just a little over five miles, we are at Kidney Lakes. Um, we we're gonna go farther than this today. Um, when we rolled in here, it was just still a torrential downpour. Um, it did like 18 hours of rain in here. I haven't had a Uinta's rainstorm like that in years. Um, but it finally broke right after we got in here and uh, all of us were soaked head to toe. All our gear was soaked. Um, we just decided to stay here. That way everything will be dry. We can start out with dry layers tomorrow. So. Um, it was a good day on trail. We did push some hard miles and heavy rain. Um, and those new Columbia rain pants, I got unbelievable light, um, easy to hike in. Um, they go right over your pants. Um, really worth it. I'm so glad I brought them. So I'm going to fetch some water, put uh, the rest of my gear together for the evening, and then uh, maybe try some fishing. So we'll check in a bit. Country big day. The good kind you find at the garage thrown to your store. 